Hi everyone, Richard here with yet another video on curriculum mapping with G Suite. In this video I'm going to share with you an alternative solution for listing all of your unit planners in a Google Sheet that doesn't have to fall within the six minute runtime uh, that Google allows when running a script. So in other words, if you have thousands of files that you need to list in this Google Sheet, this is a way to do it. And again, this is adapted from a script developed by the awesome tables team. So none of this should be credited to me. I've just uh, tweaked it a little bit for these mapping purposes. So what you'll need to accomplish this is, first of all, you will have already have done it the traditional way that I've demonstrated in the, the community. And, um, and if you've done it that way, you have a unit planner folder that lists all of your current units. You have an autocrat uh, Google Sheet where all of the template request forms have gone. Um, and then you have this template, which you'll see here consists of a curriculum map menu item. So uh, before you begin, um, you're going to want to be sure that the script is pointing toward your folder and not the one that is coming with the Google Sheet. So otherwise you'll get my files, which is fine, but uh, I think you probably want your own. So the way you do that is you're going to go ahead and copy the folder ID of your unit planner folder. Again, if you're in your Google Drive, it's everything following that uh, slash mark. You could just copy that. Then, when you're in the template, you're going to open up the script editor and scroll down to, I think it's roughly line 75. So right here in line 75, in between the quotations, you're going to go ahead and um, put in your folder ID and uh, save the file and then you can close that so and now we're ready to begin so the the first step is simply to we need to connect the template sheet to our autocrat sheet we need to get these two google sheets talking to one another so the first thing we do is uh, we're going to click connect the autocrat sheet it's going to prompt me for a url it wants the url of the autocrat sheet well, since I have it open, I can go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it right here. For you, if this is the first time doing this, it's going to prompt you to allow access to that data. I've already done that, so I don't have to go through the business of clicking in cell A1 and allowing access. I've already done that before with this example. So, But you may need to do that the very first time. And once you've done that, you simply delete that tab. So we've already completed step one. Now we're basically going to repeat that exact same step, but this time we're keeping the data. Um, the only difference is that it's going to be in the order that we need it. So I'm going to import the same data using the same URL. And notice how the document ID is in column A. So the reason it's in column A is we're going to be using an array formula VLOOKUP in the Files tab to align the files that are listed here with the data in our Autocrat sheet. So, great. So the next step is to list all of the unit planners. So I'm going to hop back over to the Files tab and launch step three. So here you should see a very familiar Google Sheet with a, a row of headers and then a row of filters that Awesome Tables uses to um, process and, and filter the, the data. So you also see at the bottom is the template sheet, um, which you don't have to do anything with that. That just allows for the styling of the icons and CSS and that stuff. So notice that nothing has listed yet. That's because I have to hit the start button. And this will process the files 10 at a time. And the advantage to doing it this way is that there's kind of no limit to how long it can run. So I was hitting a barrier where after about 860 files, 
it sometimes would not finish and nothing would appear in the Google Sheet. So doing it this way um, gets around that. However, it has to be physically pushed. So this isn't something you can trigger to occur to run um, overnight, but it will list all of your files um, that you have. And in this demo version, I believe that's all I have. Um, there's actually a counter mechanism here that 10 by 10 as 10 files um, are listed, it goes up. So you will have a, a sense of how many files have already been processed and handled. And it's still running, um, but I'm just gonna stop it now because that's really all I have in this particular, this fictional curriculum. So once we've listed the files, we can then align the autocrat sheet. What that means is simply adding the subject area, grade levels, the start and end dates of the unit, the course name, and then of course the edit response URL to go back and modify the original request form. So I'm going to go ahead and click align the autocrat sheet. And it will very quickly populate those items um, and hopefully down the line, I can figure out how to create a button uh, in the sidebar that would actually generate the awesome table for you. The current iteration of the awesome table add-on does do this, um, and I would love to know how they do that, but it does not contain currently the editor field or the users field, which is is crucial for using uh, this particular setup for curriculum mapping. So, um, but I'm going to look into adding some sort of way of creating that awesome table automatically from that sidebar. But there you have it. I will be sharing this uh, template into the Google Plus community. And uh, uh, if you give it a try, give me some feedback and let me know if it, if it works well for you. And uh, and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.